all right so welcome back to lpc channel so in today's video we are looking at compound interest and present value so i read 50,000 US dollars is invested at 8% compound interest per annum for 4 years. A. Calculate the value of the investment at the end of the period. B. Compute the present value of this investment. So that's what we have asked to calculate for in this video. So now, we know the cost of the investment is what? 50,000 US dollars. And it's invested at what? 8% compound interest for 4 years. So we know N to be 4. We know the cost of investment to be what? 50,000 US dollars and we know the percentage rate was 8%. So how do you compute for the future value of this investment? At, that's at the end of the period. So in doing that, first we need to have our parameters down. We can say that we know the cost of the investment, let me call it as CI, to be what? 50,000 US dollars. Is that okay? And we know the rate for this investment is what? 8% and we know that of the time or n in this case to be what four years is that okay all right so once we know that then we can so that we move on to calculate the future value of this so by formula we can say that the future value of this investment is going to be the cost of the investment okay and then multiply by the future value factor what is the future value factor here the future value factor here it is one plus the rate given in the question okay in percentage all to the power of what n is that okay so that is a future value factor approach we are talking about here so let's move on to the first way to solve this so now we know the cost of the investment to be what fifty thousand us dollars okay and we know our future value factor to be one plus eight percent and we know n to what four is that okay so therefore i can say that my future value per my calculation i had a total of what sixty eight thousand and twenty four point four nine us dollars that's what i got to be the future value of what fifty thousand as a cost of investment invested for four years at the rate of what 8% compounded annually. Is that okay? So that is kind of my future value. So that is the I of the problem. So I, I, we are asked to compute for the present value of this investment. So to compute for the present value of this investment, it is actually the discounted of future cash flow, which is what is 8,000 and 24.49 US dollars. So you want to know the value of the investment now. What is the present value of the investment now? We want to know the worth of the investment now. So to know the worth of any, any investment now, it is the discounted of what that particular investment future cash flow into the present term. That's what we call the present value of any investment. So there is a difference between the cost of investment and the present value of what an investment. So the present value of an investment, we are talking about the discounting of future cash flow into present terms. But when we're talking about the cost of the investment, we are talking about what the actual cost or the actual money or the actual resource that it costs that entity or that person to invest in that project that's what we call what the cost of the investment i believe that is clear all right so in this case you can see that the present value of any investment it is our future value divided by the feature value factor feature value factor so we know the feature value in this case of this investment of fifty thousand us dollars to what sixty eight thousand and twenty four point what four nine so we divide this by the future value factor, which is what? 1 plus 8% all to the power of what? 4. Is that okay? Therefore, we can conclude that with that, you should be able to get this. So in my case, I had the present value to be, I had the present value to be 50,000, 50,000, point zero three point zero three so here we can clearly see that this present value more reflect the cost of the investment that we made for four years and at the rate of what eight percent per annum so that is the idea about future value and the present value and then the cost of any investment in that case so let's take you note know, so thank you for watching this video so if it was helpful to you 
please go ahead to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new on this channel and make sure to like and then share as well so thank you and i will see you in other aspects bye bye